Hey, Ron Ryan here. So, but here we are once again with another game adaption actually coming to the big screen. We just recently had Dungeons and Dragons actually uh, come out. And the reason I'm bringing Dungeons and Dragons up, this as well too, because if you guys can recall, Dungeons and Dragons came out back in 2000 with a, another uh, cast, of course. And uh, here we are with the, this year, 2023, we, we got a whole new different movie. But with uh, Super Mario Brothers now, if you guys go all the way back to 1993, we had the live version of this as well, too. This is well for Super Mario Brothers. 30 years later now, we get the whole new CGI animated movie, which I thought was brilliant. I got to say, I remember the first time I actually saw the CGI trailer, I'm going, okay, here we go again. What's going to happen? What's going to be different about this movie about, that came out 30 years ago? I, I know that was a live, uh, uh, live action movie, but the animation is actually brought different, believe it or not, because it's... You can do a whole bunch of different things with, with when it comes to animation. You, you can have people fall at least a good, what, a <laughs> couple hundred feet and do nothing. And, but, you, but you guys got to realize oh, with the game, it, that's key, that's the case. It, if you have to do that in the game, you're going to die just as well, too. With, with uh, giving up uh, stars, more lives or something like that. Mushrooms that actually give you big uh, power-ups, that's as well, too. We see all of that in this film, which I thought was brilliant, I got to say. Everything was crafted so well. And the cool... Good uh, kicker about this as well, so Donkey Kong was added uh, to this movie as well, too. A a a 80 game. Any movies from the 80s, uh, I, I, I gotta say, uh, they're somehow connected as to Super Mario Bros. In a way, I gotta say. G G Mario Kart, uh, this as well, too. And that's the thing that we saw in the movie this as well, too. Which I thought was kind of clever, because if you guys are familiar, too, at Universal Studios Hollywood... They just released uh, Super Nintendo World back in February, and they brought the Mario Kart uh, there. This as well too. And when I was watching this uh, movie for my first time, and I'm kind of imagining the same thing, believe it or not, after going on uh, that ride at, at the Universal Studios Hollywood. We're going, wait a minute, are we playing? Uh, we got on the ride and actually riding uh, the game. Here we are once again riding. But this time on the big screen. I thought this was brilliant. I gotta say once again, if you haven't been on uh, the ride, it's. You, you go uh, go there and check it out. If you guys have seen the movie, go there and check it out. You, you can see a connection when they, they're actually doing the Mario Kart in this uh, movie to this as well. Too. There's a lot of good hidden uh, message in this movie. There's a lot of uh, hidden stuff in this movie, I gotta say. You just have to be sharp if you can actually see it. I didn't see all of it. I've actually watched another YouTube uh, channel to actually get those hidden stuff inside the movie just as well, too. But Oh my gosh, there's just so much you can actually see. But this movie is so much fun. The whole family can actually really enjoy it. I almost feel that little kids can even enjoy this even more if they have not even played the game. They will definitely love this movie. As you, as you see right now, even uh, uh, me, this as well too, since I lived through the 80s. This was a movie for anybody who played the games and, and lived through the 80s. This is a movie you, you got to watch, if you, especially if you love uh, the Super Mario Bros. Uh, uh, games and all that. One, two, three... And then it went beyond into uh, the other game cons cons consoles this as well too, into the PS, PS4, PS... I can imagine there might be one for PS5 coming up. I can imagine that. But everything was brilliant, I gotta say. The way that they actually started off this movie just as well too, I thought... I was thinking too, back in uh, 1993 when uh, the other movie actually came out. They actually gave the same interjection a little bit. Because since you, you guys are familiar, Mario and Luigi are actually plumbers. And what happened in, in, in this beginning, I'm not giving anything away, this is a non-spoiler -spo uh, uh, review. But uh, uh, the movie starts off with these uh, brothers trying to look for a job. It was difficult to, uh, for them to actually find. They wind up into a, this, a rich building that has a wild, crazy dog that just wants to play with Mario and Luigi. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but that's where the movie actually starts off. You actually see that a bit of that in uh, the first, uh, te uh, not the teaser trailer, but the next trailer after that. And uh, the, the world just kicks off after that, pretty much with them uh, trying to uh, being frustrated, trying to find a job, and that's exactly what happens, believe it or not. But once they see the city needs help down in the sewer, they go down into the manhole and discover there is a time warp to a another world. <laughs> and that going through that time warp and going into that time warp at Super Nintendo World uh, back in February, oh my gosh, it just brings back the memories and I thought this movie was so burnt the way they actually did it. We get time warped into this movie, into the kingdom world of mushrooms. And now you got to realize, um, I, I never actually, they put some uh, actually really cool elements in this movie just as well too, going a little beyond the game just and stuff like that. That way they, they give you a little behind the looks of um, um, Mario and Luigi, how good of brothers they are, actually are really connected. Now, the whole story is too, Bowser actually taking Luigi, separating the brothers. 
That way Mario can uh, try to uh, retrieve uh, Luigi. Usually in the games, it's usually, uh, Mario has to go uh, find uh, Peaches, P Princess Peaches, believe it or not. And the connection with that was actually pretty cool because at uh, the Bowser, believe it or not, it's got a little crush on Peaches, uh, Princess Peaches, I'm sorry, <laughs> Princess Peaches. And uh, the whole segment with this, if you guys are familiar with who's behind the voices with this, uh, Jack Black is a uh, Bowser in the movie. He is awesome. He's brilliant. I couldn't really recognize his voice until we got into the movie, but you can actually hear his voice. There is a particular scene that is really funny since he's uh, singing the, uh, about Peaches and had a crush on her. He's playing p his piano. Peaches, 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 I can't do really good. Jack Black is the one that was really clever behind this. But uh, the way they actually uh, approached all that was really cool. And I, they, uh, we, Chris Pratt was a Mario. Charlie Day was actually Luigi. The cat, the voice cast was uh, the great. I gotta say, I know people were a little afraid. What's Chris Pratt would actually bring to Mario? He did fine. I gotta say, he did perfectly fine. It's, it's a voiceover, and he actually did it really good. A Mario, a Mario. <laughs> he did it really good. I gotta say in the movie. But anyways, I really have to uh, give this movie a big thumbs up. Uh, my grade system is over on the side right now. And I really enjoyed this movie. This is the, actually my favorite movie of the year so far. And we're, this is getting started in 2023. This has been amazing. You have to ride the ride. for If you haven't, guys, I've watched the movie and haven't ride the ride at Universal Studios Hollywood, go do that. If you uh, guys are watching this right now, if you've ridden the ride and haven't seen the movie yet, uh, on the opposite side, check the movie out because uh, you'll actually see some scenes from uh, the ride inside the movie. And I think this is probably what Universal Studios actually did, releasing that uh, Universal Studios uh, ride out there with Super Nintendo World actually opened out before this movie, believe it or not, to give it like a, almost like a two-month uh, jump as it is to this movie. That was brilliant. I got to say, Universal Studios, that was brilliant of you actually doing that. And now here we are once again uh, with this uh, movie. And yes... The other thing, too, is stay for this, uh, the credits. There will be post scenes leading up to the sequel. You guys are not going to know, this is, since this movie is doing so well at, at the box office, there will be a second one. And I can't we're not wait to see what they're going to actually bring. Uh, there, there was a couple of things in the movie I was actually surprised to see already because uh, the, the Mario's uh, Galaxy uh, uh, game, there was a character in this movie this as well, too. I actually thought that would have been later, or maybe in the third Super Mario Brothers movie. Yes, I do think they will carry at least a trilogy into this Super Mario Brothers movie, a trilogy, at least. Hopefully that, that, that's all they do, but they also can do characters from beyond. And since I have, I didn't mention Donkey Kong's uh, voice, which is Seth Rogen, I was kind of worried about that this as well, too, because he really didn't lend out a great voice to Donkey Kong, but I thought he did well. I'm saying that because I... Jack, with Jack Black, he really threw his voice out. You could, the way you, you can't recognize his uh, voice in this. But Seth Rogen did not, uh, Seth Rogen, I should say, uh, didn't exactly do that. You can hear here's his uh, laugh that, he, that laugh he usually does in his uh, movies with Donkey Kong. But I thought that he did rather good, I gotta say. Speaking of, I mean, since I was mentioning off about spinoff, I think doing a spinoff around Donkey Kong was actually, would be really cool, I gotta say. So anyways, there's a lot I really could talk about this movie. And uh, for those who have actually seen this movie, what did you guys actually think? Leave some comments down below. For those who have not yet seen the movie, I strongly recommend it and have a great old time with it because it's like playing a game and now watching it without no game control, of course. I like prefer the, the game controller, believe it. <laughs> but no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to play along. You just watch it, kick back, and enjoy the movie. So anyways, my name is Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time at the movies. See you guys later. Bye. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! <laughs>